state actors. All right, viewers. Chief Justice of India, Enmi Rambanna, has spoken out, saying that criticism, dissent, is very much a part of the democratic process. However, at the same time, has also said that judges should not get swayed with social media. While there is a lot of discussion about the pressures from the executive, it is also imperative to start a discourse as how social media trends can affect the institution. Protests are part of a democracy. Any law backed by a sovereign must be tempered by certain ideals of tenets of justice. Only a state that is governed by such law can be said to have the rule of law. Social media, the challenge of our times. The new media tools that have enormous amplifying ability are incapable of distinguishing between right and wrong, good and bad, and the real and fake. Therefore, media trials cannot be a guiding factor in deciding cases. On Wednesday, Chief Justice of India, N. V. Ramanna, spoke at the P. D. Desai Memorial Lecture, and his focus was on the major issues India is currently facing. And there was plenty of plain speak, particularly on politicians. The 17 national general elections held so far, the people have changed the ruling party or combination of parties eight times. The mere right to change the ruler once every five few years by itself need not be a guarantee against tyranny. India's top judge was clear that the independence of the judiciary cannot be rattled. The idea that people are the ultimate sovereign is also to be found in notion of human dignity and autonomy. The masses have performed their duties reasonably well. Now it is the turn of, the, of those who are marrying the key organs of the state to ponder if they are living up to the constitutional mandate. He warned his own fraternity against the media noise that could affect the decision-making power of judges. While there is a lot of discussion about the pressures from the executive, it is also imperative to start a discourse as how social media trends can affect the institutions. Judges should not be swayed by the emotion, emotional pitch of public opinion either, which is getting amplified through social media platforms. Judges have to be mindful of the fact that the noise thus amplified is not necessarily reflective of what is right and what is majority believes in. For those who followed Justice Ramana's career, his views don't come as a surprise. His passion for civil liberties has not waned even after occupying the highest judicial chair in the country. Bureau Report, India Today.